In this video, we will find the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor. So, first of all, consider the parallel plate capacitor that is two parallel plates. and each of them has the surface area A the first plate is taken as P and second plate is taken as Q and positive charge plus Q is given to the plate P and then second plate Q is grounded so there will be induced charge minus Q on the second plate Q okay so that all are positive charges and that all are negative charges here so the direction of the electric field from the positive to negative charges would be like this okay now we take the position of the plate P at R equal to 0 and position of the plate Q at R equal to D because the distance between P and Q is D and the total charge at the since the total charge at the plate P is Q then the surface charge density Sigma for the plate P is Q by area that is A so that is surface charge density Sigma that is equal to charge by area that is Q by A and from that Q equal to Sigma A ok and we take this as equation number 1 now we have to find the electric field between this between the region in the region between the two plates so that is the electric field between the two plates that is electric field at any point between the two plates E ok equal to sigma by epsilon naught this is the formula ok So the potential at the plate P that is equal to minus integral of E dot dr is the electric field and dr is the distance. Okay. Now the limit is from R equal to 0 to D, R equal to D to 0 because from D to 0 because we take the limit from this plate to this plate so that is R equal to D to 0 ok and you can see the direction of electric field and the distance that is direction of E and D R is the same E and R is the same so we can take the uh, angle between this electric field and distance R as 0 so the cost product will be E into DR because cos 0 equal to 1 so that is R equal to D to 0 ok now to integrate it put the value of E that is sigma by epsilon naught into dr here sigma is the constant epsilon is also constant so the integral part is dr and if we integrate it it will be r with the limit d to 0 now we have to put the limit so after putting limit it will be like that ok thus we get the potential at the plate P now we know that the capacitance C equal to total charge by potential of any plate so the charge of any plate is Q and the potential is V so 
we put the value of q there q is given by sigma into a sigma is the charge density there so we put this value from equation 1 sigma into a and the potential v is given by sigma t by epsilon naught and from that the remaining part will be epsilon a by d this is the capacitance for this two plate now if you consider a medium or power permittivity k between the two plates then the capacitance for this case will be k epsilon naught a by d because k will be multiplied with the term so that is the expression of capacitance for parallel plate capacitor with the medium of permittivity k